And now to a story that reflects the true spirit of Christmas. A group of total strangers helped a boy who lost his leg in a train accident. Back in October, we told you about 10-year-old Jummy Harris. He was hit on Bellwood Road off Warwick Boulevard in Newport News and lost his left leg below the kneecap. Later, we showed you how his family's helping him recover, and 10 on your side viewers also stepped in to help. All new at 11, 10 on your side's Jason Marks is here now with that story, and this is such a good story, Jason. Yeah, you know, we talked with him at CHKD, and his mom stressed to us during that time that she was worried about money for gifts. You know, she's had to cut back on his hours, on her hours. He's had 25 surgeries, and now that he's home, she really requires round-the-clock care, and she really has cut, had to cut back her, her hours to take care of him. So as soon as our story aired, we got all kinds of emails and calls from people wanting to help. And today, Jami got his Christmas. Uh, someone take me? It takes a certain skill to wrap Christmas presents. I'm so good at this stuff. Just ask these kids from Great Neck Baptist Church in Virginia Beach. I'm trying to measure out how much of this gift wrap what we're going to need for it. Every cut. Hey, every piece of tape. We are wrapping Christmas presents for family in need. Every gift labeled is done so with love and care. Our youth group um, saw a story that you all ran about a little boy who lost his leg in October and they wanted to help a family in need and so we called you. Ho, 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 everybody. The bundles in a new tree are now in Hampton. We are getting presents. Jami, known as Juju to family, and his sister are sure to be surprised. And we're trying to give him a Christmas that he'll remember. Hey! Juju, I'm Tracy, honey. My pleasure to meet you. Merry Christmas. Juju's apartment is crowded with strangers. How's that, strange? Who consider themselves his extended family. Cheese! Oh, let's do one more. It was great to just see that we made a difference and that we helped somebody out on Christmas. If they didn't hear how thankful Juju is, yeah, they could certainly see it on his face, the smile glowing from ear to ear. <laughs> and it makes his mother, Miyoshi, just as giddy. Hmm. It's unexplainable. I, I can't really even find the words to explain it, but it's, it just makes me just real happy. And in this case, a whole lot of fun. These Christmas angels will tell you. Them have a great Christmas. It was better to give than receive. It's better than any Christmas we've ever had. Um, to see these children light up and just to know what the holiday spirit's about and to see our kids light up, this has just been the best experience. In the end, there's the power it's in on your side. A team effort created this Christmas miracle. Merry Christmas! Now the group from Great Neck Baptist says they got so much help from people in the community. Everyone wanted to pitch in and give Jami's family a good Christmas. And Katie, I can tell you that really the goodwill hasn't stopped. The Shriners Hospital for Children has volunteered to even drive him down to one of the hospitals in South Carolina when he's ready for a prosthetic. And they said, hey, we'll drive you back and forth to your appo uh, appointment. So really great giving here. Oh, absolutely. The Shriners are incredible, and it's yeah, so neat, nice to see the community pull together like this. They great really Great story. Did. Jason, thanks so much.